sharing highlights like years ago, right? Yeah. It's important you were at the forefront of that and that's really important with recruiting, isn't it? Yeah, I feel like it has definitely given me a leg up. I mean, I've been telling Gabby since she's younger than us yeah. on our team, like get your videos out, send them out to coaches. Like even if they're not necessarily gonna pay much attention to it now, it definitely opens up eyes and it helps you out in the long run for sure. And year two in the position and fitting in, you see the confidence, um, but just also the intensity that you play with. That's the strength of yours as a libero. Yeah. Is that something you developed? I mean, you've always been a competitor, yeah. right? But then taking it to that position, um, was that a transition for you at all last year? I mean, I definitely say that I've always been really much mentally tough. Yeah. Shout out to my dad for that. <laughs> he, he coached us through that, Brent and I. But I feel like as a hitter, it was definitely like a different, aggressive type of confidence and like mental toughness so it was a transition to like switch that aggression a little bit like I had to think instead of being aggressive to hit this ball like I want to be aggressive and dig this ball like take that away from the hitters so it's definitely like a different mentality but I feel like it's the same intensity you know? talk about you guys and just your team now your second year competing in open and going against the best teams every not not every week just every single match of the season how's that made you better Oh, it's been a lot of fun. I think especially just being able to compete every match when we were playing down in like premier level, it wasn't as competitive every single match. So I think it's made us play hard every single game and bring it every single game. And I think it's really raised just our whole gym's level of competitiveness and level of volleyball. Let's talk about moving to the 15th, right? You've been mm -hmm. waiting for this, I'm guessing, right? Yeah. <laughs> Excited, nervous, anxious. How are you feeling with that day getting closer? I'm really excited. I just want to get it over, not get it over with, but I'm ready to experience it. I feel like I've been waiting for so long and I'm just excited to find my dream school. And we talk about how busy y'all are during the summers, but camps, elite camps after mm -hmm. your club season, do you have some of that planned? What does your summer look like after nationals? So really after this week, it really ramps up. So like the seventh, we'll have our D1 camp here. Mm -hmm. And then from then on, I'll be gone for a good week, week and a half. And then I have one the 17th after the 15th, and then that'll be the end of my camp season. But it's all essentially trying to fit in in front of the 15th so you can see and talk to coaches yep. before uh, you can officially talk. Now, do you feel like you have a leg up going through with your sister going through it a couple years ago? Do you feel like you maybe know what's coming at you a little better than somebody who didn't go through that? Yeah, I think for sure I have a leg up just because not only does my sister have a good connection in the volleyball world, like hearing things about other schools and good things and bad things, yeah. but I also feel like having her going through the process has helped my family navigate it even better. And just like the importance of reaching out and sending emails and stuff like that, but also just like realizing that this isn't a thing that you should be nervous about, something you should be excited about. And I think Brynn's really helped me with that. And we always hear people say, make sure you have the right fit. Mm -hmm. With you, what does that mean? What do you think that'll mean for you, the right fit? Yeah, so that's actually really important to me. I mean, I did have to transfer schools earlier this past year. So for me, it's just really important to have like a good environment and like a positive culture. Like that's something that's super important to me. Just having like a good team culture and then also just having super supportive coaches. And I want like knowledgeable coaches. I mean, obviously at the higher levels, all of them are, but just like well-rounded and um, also just like compete. Like I want to go to a program that competes hard and wants a kid that plays like I do. Like I want to be able to fit into their defense, you know? Yeah, so. absolutely. Well, wish you luck. We're excited to follow you the rest of the way um, and then beyond that. But uh, uh, 2025 Libero Terran Curse to Falls, South Dakota. Sounds like you're ready for the process. <laughs> Thank you. Yep.